Okay, so this next lecture will be on photocodynamics, and this is chapter four in your book. You have uh, key terms. Make sure you're able to define these terms and more key terms. All right, so uh, pharmacokinetics is what the body does to the drug, where photo pharmacodynamics is what the drug does to the body. Make sure you know the difference between the two. So mechanism of action is MOA. So mechanism of action is defined as a method by which the drug elicits effect. And the drug produces effects through the drug receptor interaction, drug enzyme interaction, and specific drug interactions. So drug receptor interaction. So the receptor is a specific biological site located on a cell surface or within a cell. So it's like keyholes where a specific key or drug will only fit in that specific keyhole. And I'll show you an example of that. Affinity is a drug's attraction to their specific receptor. So strong affinity for a receptor allows the drug to elicit um, an, an agonist, antagonist, or mix and agonist antagonist reaction so the target organ is the organ where the desired effect occurs so here is that uh, lock and key model so you can see that only one key is going to fit so drug a binds to the receptor where drug b cannot bind to that receptor that's the the lock and key so an agonist is a drug or natural substance, substance with an affinity for a specific receptor that produces a physiologic response. So it's usually a predictable response. And it also stimulates or enhances the body's natural response to stimulation. So one of those is epinephrine. An antagonist is a drug that inhibits or blocks receptors um, for which they have affinity. So the normal physiological function carried out by the receptor cannot ensue. So the door cannot be opened as the key is blocked or does not fit. So drug receptor interaction terms. So affinity is the uh, propensity of a drug to bind or attach to a given receptor site. And the efficacy is the intrinsic activity. So a drug's ability to initiate biological activity as a result of binding, so producing the desired effect in the target tissue. Drug receptor interactions, so he, these are the terms. There's competitive, non-competitive, and partial agonists. So you have the competitive um, antagonist. It's an agent with affinity for the same receptor site as the agonist. So it increases the concentration and it's usually reversible, which is great. So there's a non-competitive agonist, an agent that combines with different parts of the receptor mechanism and, um, and activates the receptor so that the agent cannot be effective regardless of its concentration. So this is considered um, irreversible. So a drug that we give that's a non-competitive antagonist is something that we can't reverse. So partial agonist, an agent that has an affinity for some efficacy but um, that may antagonize the action of other drugs that have a greater efficacy, so may share some structural similarities as the agonists. So drug enzyme interactions. So enzymes are found throughout the body and are catalysts responsible for initiating biochemical reactions. So drug enzyme interactions occur when drug uh, resembles the substrate that the enzyme usually attaches, and it stimulates or blocks uh, blockade of the enzyme Will result uh, may occur as a result of the drug and it can also produce a pharmacodynamic reaction so looking at the drug enzyme interactions and we're looking at um, acetylcholesterase um, it's an enzyme so some nerve gases act to block this enzyme which metabolism acetylcholine so it's a neurotransmitter responsible for nerve stimulation. So we have the cytochrome P450 enzyme. It's found in the liver and is responsible for metabolizing medications. Um, interference can lead to decreased metabolism con um, of the drug, so it can accumulate within the body. Nonspecific drug interactions. So Drugs elicit pharmacologic effects through nonspecific means, so ointments, um, emulants, and contrast. 
So if we look at the drug response relationship and we look at the um, efficacy and the potency. So efficacy is a drug um, is responsible to produce a desired effect on how great the effect will be. So the potency has to do with the relative concentration required to produce that desired effect. So how much drug is needed. After the drug administration, the amount that reaches and remains in the systemic circulation depends on the rate and um, extent of absorption, distribution, metabolism, and elimination, ADME. So if we look here on the drug serum concentration time profile, so if we look, we have the onset of the drug, so you can see absorption happening. Then we have our peak serum concentration and our elimination. So we have the onset, the duration of action, so this is where it's working. And you have your peak and it starts to decline because it's being metabolized and termination of action, so it's being eliminated. So if we look here, toxic level, if you go all the way up and you give too much, you're going to be toxic. So we're within the therapeutic range down here. And then this is your threshold dose. So this is the minimum amount you need in order for it to work. Okay, so half-life of a drug. So biological um, half-life or half-life of elimination. So it's the length of time required for a drug concentration in the plasma to decrease by one half or 50%. Renal or hepatic um, disease, so if elimination or metabolism is affected, the plaza half-life will increase. So drug dosage and frequency will need to be adjusted depending on the function of the organ. Okay, measure of the relative safety of a drug. So it's a, a ratio between the lethal dose and the effective dose. So it's a calculation. So you have your TI, which is your therapeutic index is equal to your lethal dose of 50% of the population divided by the effective dose of 50% of the population. And if we look at the effective uh, concentration 50, so ED50, that's a concentration of the drug which induces a therapeutic effect in 50% of the population, whereas lethal dose 50 is LD50. It's a concentration of the drug in which death in 50% of the population will incur. So adverse effects, so side effects, um, it's a predictable action on the body systems other than the action intended. It can be good or bad. So some drugs we found um, that we're treating patients with had a side effect that was great. So um, that was actually positive. So the drug can be used in multiple ways. Whether it's FDA approved or not, um, people will use drugs that aren't intended for its original um, patent. So adverse effects, so any unwanted effects, so toxicity, allergy, um, allergic reaction, which is not good. All right, drug-to-drug -drug interactions. <clears throat> when two or more drugs act in unison to produce addictive, antagonistic, synergis synergistic, or antagonistic response, some drugs work in um, synergistic ways when two drugs work together to produce a response that is greater than either of the one drug. And chemical incompatibility is when two chemical, chemically different drugs are combined, they produce an insoluble, predict, um, participate, or a chemically destroy their own activity. All right, so this is the last slide. In conclusion, Pharmacodynamics is the study of the way the drugs act in the body. Drugs do not create new biological function, only enhance or block existing functions. No drug is safe. All um, can exhibit adverse and potentially toxic effects, and they can interact with other drugs and cause either beneficial or adverse outcomes. All right, there you go.